Hey yo, what's going on guys? Snip Dobbs here from the Platinum Penthouse and today I'm bringing another NBA 2K15 information video and in this video guys we'll be talking about the news today that was released regarding to my team and also uh, if you haven't seen the new trailer go check it out, link in the description below. Not really anything new but you know what, anything 2K15 related is only a bonus. Uh, so the biggest piece of news that we got today was that 2K15 will have an auction house for my team and that is big news guys. Something I've been really wanting for a couple of years now. Great to see it finally happening. If you're not too familiar with the uh, auction house, you probably if you play FIFA or Madden, you probably know what it is or ultimate team. Um, but for the most part, if you know, just say you have a card and you know, you quick sell it and you don't make that much, well, you can put it on the auction house and get maybe a little bit more for it uh, than you would usually would quick selling it. And uh, you, you can also buy a specific card that you want, you know, it works both ways. Uh, so, if, you know, instead of opening packs with my terrible luck, I would just look for a specific card and just save up for it and then buy it. So, Good to see this uh, market working around. I want to see if it has like a good filter. And what I mean by filter, like search engine. We Maybe I'm looking for a card between like 5,000 and 8,000 MT. Maybe uh, I want a specific gold player, a specific player from like the Kings or something like that. I really hope these search engines are uh, more specific and then just looking for the card uh, manually. Uh, so, moving on to the next thing, guys. If you look at the top right corner right here. It looks like MT currency is back. You know, it doesn't really matter to me I, personally. I'd rather just one burn, uh, currency for like all game modes. But you know, it doesn't make that big of a deal to me. Um, but I guess it's a good thing. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'd like to know your opinions. Not really that big of news, but you know, it's there. So here we got the team breakdown. I thought this was really cool, so I thought I'd share with you guys. Basically, what's going to do is going to tell you your overall team offense, your overall team defense. Right in this instance, is a 78 for offense and a 69 for defense. And it's going to tell you the things that you should do for shooting wise. So, like attacking the baskets, like a 63, mid range scoring, a 65, three point scoring, a 59. So, maybe you like don't want to shoot threes with that team too often, right? If it's in red, that's something that you shouldn't really lean towards as your game plan. If it's in white, then you kind of just do it. And if it's like in green, then you should really emphasize it in your uh, strategy. I don't know really how you're going to strategize for like blocks. You kind of just do it. But, you know, I really like the idea of this. I think it's pretty good. And, uh, yeah. By the way, guys, if you look at the uh, faded cards, you can kind of see a sapphire card. And that's going to be Tom Chambers. I did not know that name until a couple minutes ago. Had to do a little research. Turns out he's a pretty good player, making him a sapphire. And he's going to be one of the new legends uh, this year, along with, like, Kevin Johnson, Mayor Johnson of Sacramento. You know, he's like a god to me, really. He's the one that kept the Kings in Sacramento. So he's going to be on my, my team for sure. I don't even care what his overall is. He's going to be on there. Um, but there's players like Nate Archibald, and I'll get into him like in a little bit. Uh, but yeah, so I thought I'd just point that out before we move on. There's also the new challenges, and this is kind of similar to Madden 15. I just picked up a couple days ago, and I noticed like these challenges that you can do to earn like uh, VC or whatever the currency is. I don't even know what it's called. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so I kind of see how they're doing this now, and I really like that idea because... Um, my team, there's the road to the playoffs, there's a couple tournaments, and there's domination. I felt like, I don't know, I kind of wanted a little bit more variety, so these challenges are going to be pretty cool. Um, there's, like, specifics to it as well. Like, for example, you know, maybe you can only allow gold players for this certain one, or maybe, like, five players in the East. Kind of like the tournaments, how they did it, you know, like, you're only allowed certain players. Um, the one that I can really see is, like, there's the uh, Class of eleven. So with Kyrie's class, there's the uh, unsung heroes, and that one you're only allowed gold players for your starting lineup, and uh, bench players are silvers. So that's going to be interesting. I'm going to be playing a lot of these challenges, and it looks like you get a thousand MT, which on 2K14 is not a lot, but maybe 2K15 that's quite a bit. Who knows? We'll find out in some uh, the next couple days. So talking about domination before it's going to make its return. And uh, it's basically looking like the same thing, looking at the screenshot. Uh, but the only difference I can see is that for earning all 99 stars, I think you only got a trophy in 2K14, maybe a couple packs, I don't know. But this time you're going to get a Sapphire Nate Archibald, so that's going to be pretty cool. Definitely going to motivate me to get that uh, those 99 stars. It's just those bronze player wins, man. They're not easy. 
at least for me they're not and I uh, hope maybe it's not the same it's probably is gonna be so I have to get a little better um, hopefully we can get those 99 stars though I might make a series um, that might be another thing I might do uh, but last but not least guys I'm gonna tell you some more ratings that I found out today for the Lakers and the Warriors uh, so we got Kobe Bryant and he's at 89 guys he's not the nine he's not the fourth 90 and I'm really surprised by this I thought he was definitely a lock for a 90 overall guess not and now it's gonna definitely cause some controversy for that four spot at the 90 overall I'm thinking Carmelo now or Derrick Rose, but if it's Derrick Rose, that's that's bullshit, to be honest. Um, we got Nick Young, Carlos Boozy, though, at a 78. It's pretty good ratings. Jeremy Lin at 77. Steve Nash and Julius Randle at a 76. So, uh, along with Jordan Hill at a 76. He's underrated, too, guys. Jordan Hill, he's a really good player when he wants to be. Sometimes I just I watch those games because Sacramento plays him like four times a year. And... Uh, it don't really work out so well for Jordan Hill. But, you know, I've, I've seen some good things. Uh, Wesley Johnson, Ed Davis, and Xavier Henry are at 73. Ryan Kelly to 71. Jordan Clarkson at 70. And Robert Sacre at 67. Moving on to the Warriors, guys. Stephen Curry's also 89. So Kobe and Steph Curry are rated the exact same. I don't know. I don't know about that. Come on. Kobe and Steph Curry. Like, Steph Curry's good and all. He definitely deserved that 89 or 88. But to rate him the same as Kobe, uh, I don't know about that, man. Uh, Clay Thompson, Iguodala, and David Lee all at 82. I thought Clay Thompson maybe a little higher. Same with Iguodala because he's like he's offensively like pretty good and defensively as well. Maybe like an 84. Guess not. David Lee too. He's a really underrated power forward. That's one thing I don't get about that Golden State Warriors trade when they're like with Kevin Love and stuff. Why would you trade for a power forward and give up so many pieces when you got David Lee, a solid power forward? He made the All NBA third team like a, a year or two ago. So I don't know about that. Bogut at the 80. That's pretty good. Draymond Green at a 77. Harrison Barnes 76. Sean Livingston 74. Maurice Spates 72. Brandon Rush 69. Ogan Jen Kuzmik, 67, Nemanja Nedjovic, Nedovic, I don't know, 67, and Festus Azili is at a 67 as well. So these ratings are pretty good for the most part of all the leaked ratings that I've got. Uh, for the most part, they're all pretty accurate. So uh, yeah, um, but you know what, that honestly wraps up the video guys. If you guys like this video, please leave a like. If you guys want to see more videos from me, hit the subscribe button. Until next time guys, Snip Dobbs, signing out.